Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween. I certainly did. I had a ton of trick-or-treaters, but a lot of candy left. Um, so that's always good. And I cannot wait for the holidays, guys. And I brought you a reading today. This is going to be a pick a card on what does your person secretly want to tell you. So I kept it open. I didn't really specify what type of relationship. So it can be platonic. It can be romantic. Most of my readings are geared towards romance. So um, I have no idea what's going to come out today. So whatever spirit has for us, that's what I'm going to read for you guys. So um, I don't have any other announcements, guys. So let's jump right into the piles. Pile one is going to be this Moonstone Crystal. Pile two is my Snake Talisman. Okay. And pile three is the Clear Quartz, the Raw Clear Quartz Crystal. As you guys are meditating, if you are interested in a personal reading, you guys, check out my Etsy shop. It is um, located down below in the description box. I do have reviews there if you guys are interested in a personal reading. Um, and remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please don't make it fit if it doesn't. And um, timestamps will be below, guys, and I will see you at your pal. Hi, pal one. If you chose the moonstone crystal this is going to be your reading all right so your person's secret message what do they secretly want to tell you so let's see what we have okay we have hex it says banishment interesting guys we have the hex card coming out first um we have Number three, take the lead. Okay, that's interesting. We have two hands coming up. I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but we have two hands pointing and two hands kind of um, appearing in this reading so far. And you had several tarot cards. We have the Six of Cups. Put these up here. You also had the Eight of Cups. Someone give me a water sign. You don't have to be. We have the Knight of Cups now. Lots of water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Princess of Pentacles here. So we have water and Pentacles energy coming through. Let me just take a look at this pile number one. So I'm automatically feeling this person is sad with the five of pentacles here and they are, um, they're feeling sad about what happened here. And there's this energy of them wanting to say something about maybe the argument that the two of you guys had. I, I do see that with the hex card that there was maybe some pretty big argument and maybe you cut this person out of your life here because we do have the eight of cups this is about walking away from a situation that isn't good for you um with the six of cups i do feel like this is a connection this is like a past connection so something had already happened with the two of you um is what i'm getting here like this is someone from the past that you are asking about for some of you and you know what I'm seeing here? I feel like this person wants to secretly tell you that you were right, pile number one. So um, there's this message here coming through that they would want to tell you that you were absolutely right. So whatever you told this person, whatever you expressed to them, whatever you said to them, there's this energy of them understanding and knowing that you were absolutely correct and that they don't blame you for maybe what has happened or um, what has been said between the two of you. I do see them wanting to make an offer here because we have the Knight of Cups 
and we have the Princess of Pentacles. So they are definitely wanting to reach out. I'm just seeing this energy of them extending their hand here. And we also have this person extending their hand and offering something. So I feel like they secretly want to tell you that they have a lot more to say to you about this situation. And for some reason, I'm getting just this loud message that they would say that you are right, that you were, everything that you said to them, you know, they they don't blame you for saying what you said. So let's get a card here, Pal One Spirit. What does their person secretly wanna to say to Pal One? I feel like as well with the Eight of Cups, I think that they would also secretly tell you that they don't blame you for walking away from this connection. Um, that's coming through really strongly here. Yeah, we have card number 34 and it says the fish on it. So I'm going to read that because I don't remember what that card is about. It's finances, welfare, rewards, abundance, generosity. The fish card is a symbol of fulfilled hope, successful completion of affairs, or honors and awards beyond expectations. This positive card signals excellent health combined with prosperity and domestic bliss. This, card's mean, this card means fate is smiling on you. You have found your way. Expect gifts, money, good trade deals, and successful projects. So interesting that it says that because we have this card of someone holding out a pentacle. So there's definitely some sort of exchange here that this person would secretly want to tell you. Um, if this is in regards to a relationship, pound number one, and I think it is, this card indicates that the partners have strong feelings for each other and excellent compatibility. Yes, I am getting that very strongly here. The fish is a very um, watery energy and we also have a lot of um, we have Pisces showing up here as well and there are strong emotions that your person has for you pile number one so I definitely feel like this is more of a romantic pile than a platonic pile but with this card coming out I feel like they secretly want to offer you their heart to you like they secretly want to tell you that their heart still belongs to you and that whatever has happened between the two of you, they would tell you that they don't blame you for walking away, pound number one, the way that you did, and they don't blame you for maybe the things that you had said to them the last time you two spoke. That's why we have this hex card. Maybe you um, <laughs> banish them in some way from your life out of anger and or out of the truth. And for a lot of you, I feel like they would secretly tell you that everything that you said was spot on. So whatever you said to them, pound number one, they know that that was the truth, even though they might have denied it at the time. So some of you guys needed to hear that confirmation and that message just came through very strongly here. So let's go ahead, I wanna get, um, one more card here. Let's just get advice from Spirit or just one final card about the situation. What does Pamela need to know? Advice from Spirit. What do they need to know? These cards are so slippery. There we go. Yeah, look, we have Lord God and we have Masculine. Bottom of the deck, we have the Shaw, or the Psalm, Psalmhain, and it's the death card. So I definitely feel like they want you to know, pal number one, that things are going to transform. If this is in regards to your divine masculine, I do feel like this person is going to pull through and something is going to change in this situation. It's not always going to be like this between the two of you. I am definitely seeing, um, some sort of shift in this connection for pile number one. So pile number one, that was your reading, you guys. I really hope that this resonates. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to 3,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. I will give away a free tarot reading once I reach 3K. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, pal two. If you chose the snake talisman, 
this is going to be your reading. So secret message from your person to you. Let's find out and see what they want to say. Okay, we have the Litha Intensification. I love this car. There's a strong energy here coming through for Pal 2. Oh, beautiful. We have number three, the Empress card or Nurture. There's a lot of light here coming through. Do you guys see that from the two cards? Yeah, there's an intense um, presence coming through for message for Pal 2 if you chose it. Yeah, and look at that. We have the Ten of Cups for your tarot. We have the Three of Swords, and we have the Death card. I just heard a message here from Spirit that this person, um, it just came really clearly. Pal 1 was, um, it took a little bit of time, but I'm getting this message clearly that they secretly want to tell you that they wish that they could spend time with you, like quality time with you here with the Ten of Cups and this Nurture card. Um, this There is definitely heartbreak in here for pile number two, so if the two of you guys split up or if you were in a connection and you are no longer together, um, this person is longing for you. There is an energy of their heart breaking for you, pile number two. So clarify three swords here. Yeah, see, someone walked away. Eight of Cups. Someone definitely walked away from this connection. Um, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. We have the Six of Swords and we have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you, the person watching, most likely cut this person out. And there is a strong message here that this person would secretly want to tell you. Like, they have this burning desire. That's why I feel like there's all this fire and spark coming through into your reading. They have this burning desire to tell you that they wish that they could spend quality time with you. They wish that maybe the two of you guys could be a family again here with the Ten of Cups. For those of you who had a family together, um, take that only if it resonates. But I'm getting like um, this energy of them missing out on what used to be with the two of you. Um, you know, like that sweetness that you two had. Yeah, see, we have the sun card coming out as I was shuffling at the bottom of the deck. This could also involve children. So if you two had children, I think this person would secretly want to tell you that's what I'm getting, that they want to be a family again. That's really clear for you, pal number two. Um, for some of you, this person would tell you that they want to be a family again. So I think for those of you that that resonates for, you are most likely divorced or definitely separated. And there is an energy of them secretly longing for this connection to be rebirthed with the death card. Um, and, you know, I don't know if they told you that or not, but there's, this is in their secret, you know, energies, their thoughts, it's coming through very strongly. I heard it right away when I pulled those cards out. So let's get another card here. I'm gonna use the Lenormand deck and let's just pull a card here for you guys. Pile number two spirit. What does their person secretly wanna say? to the person that is watching. Yes, look at that. We have card 20, um, garden. This reminds me of home. You know, we have a lot of energies that talk about home. It also reminds me of the four of wands, but I'm gonna read the textbook definition to you or what it says in the book to get a little bit more information. So number 20, garden, society, holiday, activities, illusions. The garden card refers to activities outside the house, social events, gathering, festivities. It can indicate the media, public opinion, professionalism. It means getting pleasure from active rest or recreation. It could also indicate 
Success in creative and social projects. In a negative aspect, it means unreasonable illusions, narcissism, and superficial relations. Um, if this is in regards to a relationship, it reveals a shallow relationship based on joint activity rather than on the depth of feelings. Yes, I do feel like this is about someone that wishes that the two of you could have, um, again, that deeper connection that they're missing out on. They would secretly want to tell you that they want to be a family again, pal number two. I just, I'm hearing that very strongly here. We have a lot of family cards. And now we have this home card, the garden card of coming together here. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like this person would secretly tell you that they are longing for you two to spend maybe the moments here that they took for granted, you know, of, of being a family or being together with the children, with the kids, um, or just being with you. There is an energy of them very heartbroken over the fact that maybe they missed out on such a amazing connection, like the grass was a greener on the other side. And, um, you know, with this garden card, they definitely missed out on something wonderful. And I think they would secretly, that's what's in their secret thoughts, pile number two, they are longing and yearning for quality time together and to be a family again, if the two of you guys had a family before. So I know that was kind of short, you guys. Um, that message was really clear though. So I just want to get one more card, kind of um, one last message for how to spirit what would they want to secretly say to the person that's watching? Okay, this is coming out. Yes, look at that. Card 21, Embrace. Um, I believe this is, it looks like, I think it's the world card or the world energy. Um, that's how I'm interpreting it. So this person, again, um, I think they would secretly want to tell you that even though things might have closed out with the two of you, I do feel like they are secretly wanting to tell you that they wish that the two of you guys could have another reconnection. And, um, you know, there is this energy of wanting to come home to you, Kyle number two. So that was your reading, you guys. I hope it resonates. Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, follow my Etsy link below, guys. And as always, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, pal three. If you chose the raw crystal quartz, this is going to be your reading. So pal number two was really quick. The message just came through very clearly. So I don't know what yours is going to reveal, but let's find out what does your person secretly want to tell you? Okay, we have the, I'm not taking reversals also, we have the Ace of Swords for your tarot, Princess of Swords, lots of swords. We have the Fool, oh, and look at this, we have the Star coming out for you guys. Two major arcanas. We have Love Abounds, card number one. And for some reason, I feel like this might be like the Ace of Cups. I just feel like it's, I don't know, the Ace of Cups for some reason. Oh, and now we have the Cups. We have a Chalice. We have Fulfillment. Wow, pile number three. How interesting. Yeah, I, <laughs> let me just take a look at this. Well, I can tell you this person definitely wants to communicate with you with the Ace of Swords and the Princess of Swords here. And there is a, this is, um, whether this is a friend or a romantic partner, I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you and the love that they have for you is growing each day, like growing day by day here and it's getting stronger. So for most of you, this is probably a romantic connection. I'm not really actually seeing platonic because we have all this water. We have the heart energy here. 
Um, we also have the star as well. So I do feel like this person um, with the full card as well, they're wanting to take a leap of faith here. That's what I'm getting. This person wants to tell you, secretly tell you, that they are in love with you, that they have fallen in love with you. That's what I'm getting here. I'm getting this image here with the full card of someone just falling off this cliff and just confessing their undying love that they have for you. This person has fallen for you, pal number three. It's very clear to me. I am getting that message very strongly here with these cards. Um, and the star card is like wish fulfillment. It's about, um, you know, things aligning for you. The stars are finally aligning. And I feel like this person would secretly tell you that they, they think that they found the one is what I'm getting from spirit. Like they have gained, I don't know, some sort of clarity about how they truly feel about you. And they're wanting to communicate this, that they have fallen for you, pal number three. That is what I'm getting very, very strongly here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna get a Lenormand card for you. And let's see, pal number three spirit, what would their person secretly say? Oh yes, look at that, we have card 30 and it says lilies on it so those flowers might be significant to you um, for some of you so i'm going to read this out loud uh, from the book a little textbook to see what it says so it says experience maturity wisdom honor purity so in a relationship spread the lilies card suggests a romantic mood a fountain of feelings either platonic love or passionate romance yes i was getting a little bit platonic but i don't feel like this is platonic this is or you know what it could be that you guys are friends and maybe it has grown this person would secretly tell you that they've fallen for you maybe that's what i was that's what i was picking up on pal number three so whatever your situation is this person has love and passion for you you know it says that in the book that their feelings are growing we have a lot of um love here there's a cup that they it's filled for you that they want to offer to you pile number three and we have the heart here so that's pretty clear to me that this person feels um they they want to secretly tell you that they have fallen for you they've fallen in love with you whether you guys are friends right now and they've fallen for you or maybe the two of you guys are dating uh, this person, whoever it is, they're definitely head over heels for you, pal number three. It's very sweet, actually. Um, let's go ahead and get one more card here. Yours was very quick, too. It was pal number one where it was a little... Um, unclear it took me just a couple of minutes to figure out the message so let's get another card here spirit how one's person what would they secretly tell the person yeah we have card 17 this is heal again i feel like there's an energy of them wanting to release um the feelings that they have for you they no longer want to be constricted or constrained with bottling up their feelings i do feel like they want they secretly want to take this leap of faith and tell you and to confess to you that they have these strong emotions for you, pound number three. I'm getting a very, just a very dreamy, very, um, this person has stars in their eyes for you. And we have <laughs> the star chart here, you know, sorry to be cheesy, but that's what's coming through. So let's get... Um, a couple more cards here. What would Paul this person's secret to say? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at, we have the Four of Swords and the Eight of Swords. I definitely feel like they have been thinking about this for quite some time. And if you take a look with the Heal card, like I was saying, um, because they've been thinking about it for a long time, they don't want to be constricted anymore. They want to unconstrict, 
is that a word? <laughs> they want to unconstrict themselves, you know, from being feeling like they can't tell you how they feel with the aid of swords to breaking free and breaking the chains and finally, you know, releasing what has they've been thinking about with the four of swords this whole time, which is this person has fallen for you, pile number three. So, um, pile number three. That was your reading, you guys. I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to 3,000 subscribers. I will give away a free tarot reading. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, follow the Etsy link below, guys. And as always, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.